What is up you guys, I'm Charmix today, I'm gonna be reacting to five haunting ghost videos that are too scary to watch alone. So, I'm gonna watch this alone. Anyway, uh, with that being said, hopefully it's be quite spooky, and uh, the original link's in the description, make sure you guys go subscribe to Nuke. Uh, as always, if any YouTubers are featured in here, I will try to link them in the description as well. And without any further ado, let's begin. Top 5 Ghosts Caught on Camera Followed Home over on the YouTube channel Ashes to Ashes. All right, I'll try linking them in the description. Dave and his brother Chris explore abandoned and sometimes supposedly haunted houses. In this investigation of a woman who says that she has been haunted by an evil entity that has followed her for most of her life, the guy- Most of her life? Man, you think that- <laughs> you think it would have something better to do with this time. I speak up a very strange EVP. Who's here? Busy. You too? Yep. Is there anything that would like to, uh... Is there anything that would like to, uh... Is there anything that would like to, uh... Go with him? What does that mean? I ask you to give us a sign up here. A creepy little voice seems to say, Go with him. And Dave says that he thinks the evil entity in the house might have done just that. Since the investigation- Oh, followed it them home? I mean, I guess the lady's really grateful to have it no, no longer following her. He's heard sounds and voices in his home. Oh my goodness. And this is why I could never do this. In one particular hallway. And then, one day, his dog begins to act very strange. Who is it? Oh, in a pitch black hallway. Oh my goodness. All right, so he uh, he cut it for time. It wasn't cut originally. Okay, I guess you're noting that so we don't think that it was staged or something, or less likely to be staged. Yeah, I think it probably followed you home. <laughs> I bet that lady's really grateful though. <laughs> Turn the lights on. Why is a light off in there? Turn the light on. What is that weird audio that keeps cutting in? It's like whenever he talks, there's like a weird squeaking or something in the background. I don't like that. Who's down there? Turn the light on. Turn the light on. I'll show you that there's nobody in the hall. Who is it? Did you see it? I saw it right here. It looks like there's something here, but... Yeah, right there. Was I'll that it? I'll show you that there's nobody in the hall. But I, I saw that and I'm like, well, could that just be stuff in this room? Like maybe clothes hanging over something? Is it gone? Some odd thing with pointy ears seems to be- Pointy ears? Where the freaking are you seeing ears, Nuke? Hiding around the edge of a door- There's no ears there! That when Dave swings- it Oh, and it's- it is gone! It's gone when he swings it. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's terrifying. Camera back around. Whatever it was, Frig me. is now gone. You can watch all of Ashes to Ashes Paranormal Investigations over on their YouTube channel. Now see, this is why you don't mess with this kind of stuff. First ghost hunt, last ghost hunt. Reddit user Manda Burke and her husband were exploring the haunted Hillview Manor, an old mental asylum located in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. They had bought tickets as part of a ghost hunting tour group. Amanda says they walked around. They do tours of these places? That doesn't seem like a good idea. Check the EVP meters supplied by the tour company, but nothing much happened. Then they began to hear an odd shuffling sound at the end of one of the halls, but they thought nothing of it at the time. What do you mean you think nothing of it? If there's no one there with you and you start, you start hearing shuffling down the hall, like, okay, what the frig's going on down there? Then 
suddenly from the end of the hall, they heard running footsteps. You can see, you can see there's like a person out shape there. Look, there's like a person out shape. Am I, am I the only one seeing that? Charging towards them. Actual C CTV footage. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Man. I'll teach you for going on <laughs> ghost tours. That says that the whole event was one of the scariest things she's ever experienced. Now, I should note that I don't usually show videos without some visible or audible evidence of the supernatural. That reaction looks really freaking genuine. It really looks genuine. He even falls back because he's trying to move so fast. But looking at the reaction of this group and seeing just how hard and painful those falls look, <laughs> I think this is pretty compelling evidence that something came down that hall. But yeah, I, th I think it looks pretty. I think that's. I gotta piss so bad. <laughs> Every time I react to scary videos, a guy go to the washroom. I'll just say, yeah, it looks pretty genuine. It really does. And, uh, yeah, I don't know why you're taking ghost hunting tours anyway. That's what you get. As always, you decide. You got your money's worth. A new roommate. A viewer from the Czech Republic named Simon says that he had never experienced anything supernatural in his apartment. That is, until a few months ago when his girlfriend Barra moved in with him. Uh oh. Is that after she moved in, strange things suddenly began to occur in his home. Small objects seemed to move on their own, and he would often hear strange noises like taps or footsteps. One night, he starts recording after hearing an unexplained sound. What are we looking at? Oh! What happens? So, hey, so. I get a bit of a shake. Something's following her. Wonderful. Wonderful. Something's. Well, time to kick her out. <laughs> I don't really know what those sounds sound like, and I don't know where they're coming from. Are they coming from like above you? Like, is it a neighbor or is it below you? I I don't, I don't know what I'm hearing. Oh wow! Is it gonna fall over? Is it gonna fall over? I think he wants it to fall over. And boom goes the dynamite. It's not this place, it's her. It's following her. So if she goes with you, it doesn't make a difference. After these strange events, the next night Simon decides to leave a camera recording the entire room. And he catches this. What kind of camera is he using? How can you leave a camera recording? Like, how long will it last? If I use my webcam, not my webcam, like an actual camcorder, 
I think it can last up to two hours recording on like a full battery. But I mean, two hours, if that's not, you know, if you go to sleep for eight hours, that is like a quarter of the way. That's nothing, right? What? What am I looking? Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness! Frig that. So is Simon's apartment haunted? Did the spirit somehow follow when his girlfriend moved in? Yeah, that's what happened. Or is it just an elaborate hoax? You d I think it's probably following her. Time for Simon to get a new girlfriend. Decide. The Watts house. The strange events at the Watts family home in Colorado might be one of the most reliably documented hauntings of all time because every piece of paranormal evidence comes directly from footage recorded by policemen on their body cam. Policemen? I don't think they'd be pulling a prank. Cams. Frederick Police Department, anybody in the house, make yourself known! Why were the police- Watts. Why were the police called here to begin with? And her daughters, Bella and Cece, lost their lives under absolutely horrible circumstances. Was it the dad? Of husband and father, yep. Chris Watts. In fact, the details of the case are so grim that I'm not going to go into them here. Thank you. I don't need I don't need to have my day ruined. The full story, you can simply Google the Watts family. In this video, two female officers from the police canine unit go to the Watts house to investigate the strange disappearance. Obviously, this video was recorded before the tragic fate of Shannon and her children were known. This footage is 100% real. It is documented police video captured by one of the investigator's body camera. So shortly after entering the house, they catch some strange video on the stairs. Okay. I think I saw something move. Yeah, I did see something. Many viewers believe that this looks like a quick glimpse of a childlike apparition descending the stairs. But it could just be a video glitch. Yeah, it could just be a glitch, but it did look like something. Also, why would there be the K-9 unit, but no police officers going to the house? You'd think they'd at least have a police officer or something, right? You decide. But then the policewoman begins to catch multiple... Oh wait, there's a policewoman and someone with a dog. Okay, question answered. Strange and unusually clear EVPs on her body cam. There's your attic access right there. What does that mean? So there's your attic access right there. Who's Brig CC? Man, that's freaking crazy that I was all captured. I think the police lady doesn't even like um recognize any of this stuff going on. But strangest of all, while investigating an upstairs closet. The investigators hear something that actually seems to spook them. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. The unexplained voice of a giggling child can be heard, but there's absolutely no explanation for where the sound came from. The canine officer is so spooked she asks the other officer to check it out. Wow. Yeah, it sounded like a kid toy. <laughs> yeah, it sounded like one of those toys that uh, kids can have, which like make giggling sounds, like a doll maybe. Something. There was. A, I heard it. Did you hear it? I did. That's creepy. Kid giggling or something, didn't it? Or a kid. It did. Well, we'll make a note of that. I, I heard it. I definitely heard the same thing you did. Yeah, and he just sort of But the story gets even stranger. How could it get stranger? I gotta piss. I'm, I'm starting. I, I gotta go. One month after the tragic incident, police are called back to the empty house because neighbors report seeing a woman moving around inside the home. Oh, that's creepy. Someone had turned on the inside garage lights. 
the police found no one inside. But some viewers believe that they might have caught something else. Oh my goodness! As a police officer is standing at the top of the stairs, it almost looks as- Oh, that's a police officer right up there too? As if some small shadow peeks out from behind him, just for a second. So obviously he couldn't see it. The house haunted by the spirits of Shannon and her daughters? No, probably some sinister kind of spirits. Let's just say I would not want to move into that house. Or are these simply tricks of the light and random noises? What do you think? I don't think it could be Tricks of the Light. I mean, sure, I guess it could be, but like all the uh, the audio noises, no. I don't think those just are random noises. Definitely because there were so many. If it was just one, you might be able to write it off as like, oh, blah, blah, blah. But if it's like multiple, which it has been, then it's less likely to be random. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. I think it's a pretty spooky video. Pretty freaking spooky. All these clips are like really good. I, I, they look like, obviously some of them could be fake, but it, it doesn't look like it is. Or it looks like it'd be very hard to be fake. As anything on the internet, it could be fake. But I liked it. It was spooky nonetheless. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you like this, give it, give it a thumbs up if you're new. Hit subscribe to the family. Make sure you guys go subscribe to Nukes Top 5 as well as I think there are some other YouTubers featured in this. I'll link them in the description. And uh, with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Boop!